What is up, gang? It's your girl, Fool Ass Scott, and I am back with another video. How y'all doing, kings and queens? Now, like I said last video, the video that I posted last night, and if you didn't watch that video, after this video, make sure you go tap in with that video. But as I was saying, there will be echoing in this video simply because I am in my studio and it is empty. With that being said, I will start doing live face reactions very, very, very soon. Believe the hype. Anyways, we gonna kill four birds, one stone. The first person we got in the office today is my girl, Kate. Now, I told y'all months ago that she would get pregnant. Y'all, this girl, she wanted to be pregnant. She wanted to carry YB baby. Basically a big dream, a big accomplishment for this girl. Y'all know that, right? Y'all, Kate is that girl. She's gonna be that one baby mother that sticks around forever. And she knows the moment she turned her eyes to another dude, YB would be cutting her off and making diss songs about her. Y'all, I told y'all, she taps in with his fan pages. She communicates with them. Y'all, it's that serious. And I wouldn't even be surprised if she was running a fan page herself. That's all I'm going to say. Next person we got in the office is my girl, Super Scent, and her ex fiance or whatever they got going on. I look, a while back, I did a video on these two. Apparently, it was never proven fact, you feel me? It was rumors. A lot of people were saying that he cheated on Super, but it was never proven, so I said it was a rumor. Well, he posted this to his Instagram. Let me be the first to tell you, I'm far from perfect. I'm human. I acknowledge my mistakes, correct them, and move on. To my fiance, Renelle Stewart, I just want to apologize for everything. I let y'all down as the man of the house in many other ways. I appreciate everything you've done for me in my future. In the moments we started together, good and bad. I don't regret a day we shared together because we made the most of them. You gave me a beautiful little girl that loves me and I'll always love you. Babe, I wish I could be better for you. Now look, y'all, like I said, I don't know if the rumors were true. Everybody was saying this dude cheated, he got some girl pregnant, and he made the girl get an abortion. But like I said, again, I don't know if the rumors were true, but by him apologizing, I know that something happened. What happened, I don't know, but something must have happened if he's apologizing. So as y'all can see from the picture that was just shown on the screen, that was their first date since their split. That's what the caption read. Anyway, some of Super supporters went on to say, a girl asked, so they back together. Somebody responded, what happened? Somebody else said, got a chick pregnant behind Super back. Somebody else said, never, what the F he filed is F and she don't deserve that. Then a woman said, right, and clowned on social media about her seizures, shaking my head. I still think he put a root on her. Now y'all, let me know in my comment section below what are y'all thoughts so far with this whole entire video? And another thing, gang. Y'all heard Fredo Bane's new song he released on his YouTube? Pain made me numb. Well, in the song, he said that he loved Jania, but she does not feel the same way about him. Now, y'all, let's be real. He doesn't even know Jania, but he knows for fact that a lot of YB fan pages they don't like Jania. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And he know that they're quick to make rumors about Jania. They're going to hear this song, post it to their little fan pages, and make it something it's not. Free promotion. Y'all know this dude, Fredo, is a big troll. Come on now. And did y'all hear about this? Lizzo dropped some news for y'all. No, literally. She posted her backside to Instagram. I don't know if she got hacked. She trying to make a statement. She trying to prove a point. I don't know, but rock out how you rock out, I guess. And look, I was going to end it off here. But y'all know that Jania and Neek, they're back friends. Neek posted a picture and Jania commented hard eyes under it. Not only that, but they follow each other again. It's always a beautiful thing to see. Two black queens put away their differences, come together, and rekindle their friendship. Gang. I'm off today. I got time today. I'm about to end this video, y'all. Get at me in my DM at Fool Ass Scott. My Instagram at is the same thing my YouTube at is Fool Ass Scott. Hit me up. Anything you want me to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. 
Let's get into it. Keep in tune on my channel so you can stay in tune. I love y'all. Thanks for the support.